Hey guys, it's me Cubix, and today I want to show you how I set up my GAN 11M Pro. I'm a huge fan of this puzzle, and today we'll be looking at the stickered version that came out recently, and honestly it's something I've been hoping for since the 11M Pro was first announced last year. In the box we see the standard stuff, including an ID card, accessories box, and the cube itself. The 11M Pro also includes a screwdriver. This is supposed to be used for the corner magnets, as you'll see in a bit, but I still find this to be deeply ironic. Out of the box, the cube felt very light and papery, and the turning was quite fast. So for the setup, I wanted to try and stay true to that. I toned down the speed a little bit, but tried to retain that papery feel. I first used the screwdriver that was included to adjust the corner magnets. I like the default corner magnet rods that come with the cube. So here you can see that I adjusted it to the weakest setting, which is number one. I've used all three settings pretty extensively in the past, and I don't think there's a clear winner. I think it's really personal preference, and for me that changes from week to week. It's just that right now I'm in a phase where I actually like weaker magnets. There aren't any edge magnets to adjust on this cube, so the next thing I did was tension the puzzle. I find that GAN cubes tend to feel quite flexible, so tighter tensions tend to make the cube feel a bit more stable for me. I left the GES nuts on the first setting, which is the tightest, but two also feels quite nice. For the spring compression, in the video I had it clicked down four times, but that ended up making the cube feel blockier than I liked, so after this was shot I actually did raise it back up to the second click, or third loosest spring tension. After that, it was time for lubing. I have a pretty standard way of lubing GAN cubes. I like to use Angstrom Gravitas on the bases of the pieces. I find that it slows down the cube a tiny bit and also evens out any small manufacturing defects that may exist. I also added some Angstrom Dignitas on the sidewalls of the pieces to make the cube feel a bit more plush and refined. Finally, just to bring back the speed a little, I did add two drops of DNM37. In hindsight, it probably wasn't needed. In fact, I could have probably gone the opposite direction and used a couple drops of Compound 10. In the past, I've also lubed 11M Pros with just Lubical Silk, and that actually made the puzzle perfectly serviceable, but I find that this setup that I'm showing in this video makes the cube feel ultra premium, and I really, really enjoy it. And finally, of course, I had to personalize the cube a little bit, so I removed the GAN logo and put my own on. For what it's worth, I do like the GAN logo, though. After that, it's just a matter of breaking the cube in. I find that the 11M Pro does improve with break-in pretty substantially. Even after just around 50 solves, the cube feels considerably nicer. I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it just it feels really great. But yeah, that's how I set up my GAN 11M Pro. All pretty easy, fairly straightforward, but I really like the result. Let me know in the comments below how you set up your GAN 11M Pro because other people might be interested. I'll have links for both the cube and the lubes used in this video in the description. And I rarely try to push my discount code on you guys, but if you're looking to help out the channel, using my discount code Cubix at checkout really is the best way to support me. So thanks to everyone who has ever used my code. Anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, toodles.